Wooly Bully by Sherelle R. Bates. Welcome to Butterfly High. Butterfly High has always been friendly. From bumblebees to flies, insects unending. Generations of bugs have learned here since the beginning. Always greeted by a teacher grinning, Butterfly High is as happy as can be. Lots of students buzzing and flying carefree. But something different started happening. Today in school at Butterfly High, our school got new students, two mean guys, a buff caterpillar with big mean eyes. The other had big hands, but doesn't high five. We know because we tried on the bus ride. He's a scary guy who gave the bees high. The bright, sunny sky started to turn gray. The day filled with dismay and gloomy rain on the day that the bullies came. Bully the bully. I'm rough and tough, ready to rumble. I kick out my leg and make them stumble. Books in your hand, I'll make you fumble. I snatch lunches when my tummy grumbles. Mmm, crunch, crunch, mumble, mumble. I'm the biggest at school in weight and mass. I'm big and slow, they're small and fast. I get mad when they zoom past. That's how I feel in gym class. Envy, anger, deep inside. Nope, don't you cry. Instead, show that you're a tough guy. Insecurities go bye-bye. Butterfly high, watch out fully. I'm mad, I'm bad, I'm wooly-bully. Cyber Twiddle Fingers. My fingers are really tough, guys. I will type lots of mean things online. I won't meet them in person, so it's fine. No big deal. I do this all the time. Typing, typing, quick, quick, quick. I don't think twice about talking slick. It's just words, right? No pain. Not a bit. It's just social media. Get over it. Nobody's friend. By the end of the first week of school, Willie's tough guy act had almost everyone fooled. Almost everyone was scared to say anything bad. Fearful that they would make Wooly mad. Almost everyone besides Twiddle. He felt confident saying mean stuff little by little. Since there was a computer in the middle of him and an online profile, no one would unriddle. He hid behind a fake profile picture and instead used his middle name, Richard. He posted a picture of Wooly losing the track race. With laughing emoji, he never actually laughed to his face. Richard called Wooly a big disgrace to the caterpillar race. With all of that strength, how do you come in last place? Give him a t-shirt that says, ha ha, loser babe. Twiddle gets up from the computer, but forgets to log out Richard. Wooly comes to the computer next. Twiddle walks away quicker. Not realizing his identity would be thrown into the mixture, Twiddle walks down the hall with a laugh and snicker. Wooly uses the computer after Twiddle was done. Wooly was still upset at the race, wishing he'd won. In the middle of feeling bad for himself, he saw all the mean things written by someone else. Wooly was hurt that someone could say things so mean 
Then he remembered seeing Twiddle sitting at that computer screen. Wooly thought of a way to settle the score, then yelled loudly, This means war! Twiddle fingers in the thumb war. Loud stomps echoed down the hall. All moved out the way and aligned the wall. Down marched Wooly with all his might, with a ball of fist ready to fight. Wooly cracked his knuckles with the biggest grin and grumbled. He thinks he's so tough. Well, we will see then. Yeah, in the schoolyard at 3 p.m. I bet he'll never talk bad again. Twiddle stood laughing in front of his locker door. Wooly approached Twiddle and raged even more. Wooly said, Have you ever been beat before? In front of the hovering crowd, challenging Twiddle to a thumb war! Twiddle looked into Wooly's eyes, frightened at the thought of fighting this guy. Yes, his hands type lots of meanness online, but in real life conflicts, Twiddle's terrified. Word of the fight quickly buzzed about the bees like the gossip and get the word out. Dozens and dozens gathered to see the show. Who would win the fight? No bug really knows. In Wooly's wrestling corner, he's lifting weights. He crunched and curled. His biceps looked great. Almost time for Twiddle to face his feet. A few minutes left, it's 2.58. In comes Twiddle to face his opponent, biting his fingernails until the very last moment. Knuckles, knuckles, crack, crack, crack. Damage has been done, no turning back. Both rivals sat with their arms on the table, with thumbs in position, ready and stable. Ladybugs and Squigglemen, let the dump war Principal Busby appeared, and soon the thumb war was interfered. The crowd of bugs all scattered in fear. Wooly and Twiddle tried to tiptoe away cautious, but Principal Busby yelled, Get to my office! Being mean will cause a sting. There they sat, two kids in trouble. Detention! Detention! Assigned by the double, Principal Busby popped their bullying bubble. What were you thinking? Preparing to rumble? How could you both think that bullying is cool? Here at Butterfly High, we play by the rules. The students here are afraid of befriending. You both, these tough guy acts, all this pretending? There's time for reflection while you both serve your time. There's consequences for your actions, punishment for your crime. And today, please learn one little thing. Being mean will cause a sting. Both Twiddle and Wooly looked at each other sadly. They both apologized for acting so badly. In the middle of their sorries, they both realized they both had no real friends, no bugs or allies. Twiddle asked Wooly, would you like to be friends? Wooly agreed and they both made amends. 
Walking down to detention, they both loudly sing, Being mean will cause a sting. Being mean will cause a sting. Thank you for reading Wooly Bully with us today on Imagine Time TV. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so we can continue to bring you more fun books. To get your copy of Wooly Bully, see the details below. We'll see you next time on Imagine Time TV where we read, learn, and imagine.